at the Home Depot you can get these holiday trees and this is rosemary cone for $14.98. It's really gorgeous and it smells so good and it's edible and it's in a cute pot. And then likewise in a cone form is this very very fragrant, I'm not sure what the variety, but it's lavender for $14.98 as well in a white pot. Really good um, Christmas gifts. And then of course there are some pine trees and cypress trees of all kinds and beautiful decorative pots. Hi friends, so I got myself from Home Depot today. I was looking around. I haven't been to the stores in a long while because I've been into buying seeds and trying to grow things from seeds. But it's really hard to find seeds for Gerbera daisies. From what I've seen, um, I don't know if I've seen the seeds and just haven't successfully grown them, but I don't think I've ever seen Gerbera daisies except the plants for sale at the store and it was $5.98 unfortunately it wasn't on sale it was full price and I've got one little bud two and then a third bud I mean a third a bloom here and it's like a salmony orange really really pretty and huge and these are pretty sturdy i do know that i've stuck some seeds that came from the, the plant itself into the ground and i don't know if it just didn't come up or i pulled them out thinking they're weeds because if you look at the leaves they kind of look like dandelion leaves so they look like a weed so i probably plucked it out or it never got pollinated. So I got that salmon one and then I got this beautiful bright red one. Look at how beautiful that is. I mean, you couldn't ask for any more perfect color blooms. And this is red and <laughs> it just struck me when I saw it. I just loved it so much, I had to get it. It's like a red red. And I love these little, um, little inner blooms or petals or whatever you call it in here it's it's just gorgeous and the very green healthy leaves 
So I got those at $5.98 each. And they had, surprisingly, they had tomatoes and pepper plants and stuff. Um, stuff that you wouldn't think would be growing this season. However, California is milder than other states. Um, but I, I don't think they would survive. So I didn't get those. But I saw this, which is quite unique. It is a graffiti, graffiti cauliflower. And I thought, why not? grow that. So I'm going to stick that into one of my garden beds in a little bit. Tomorrow probably. It's already late now. And I couldn't resist. I saw this cute little cone shaped plant in a beautiful little vase. And it's cone shaped. It's lavender. And it looks so soft. This, this variety of lavender. I'm not sure what kind of lavender it is. It doesn't say, but it's so fragrant, and it's from the Pinery Fresh and Fragrant Living Holiday Trees, fourteen ninety eight for this lavender. So I'm sure I could look up what it is, what specific kind of lavender. Um, I may not ever know. It may not say because that was for care instructions but it smells so good. Oh my gosh. And then I saw this lavender and let me just feel the petals. Yes. Oh, um, so this one is $5.98 as well. Spanish lavender. And it has these type of blooms. And I believe I have one already really fully grown and I've been harvesting the lavender from it. I'm pretty sure it's this variety because the flowers look just like this. and Like little pineapples, purple pineapples. And the leaves are kind of rough and they're fragrant like this. I'm pretty sure I already have this variety. And so I'm pretty sure this is a different variety from what I already have because these leaves are like grayish green and they're so soft. They have like a velvety feel versus these. And I bought a rosemary for $8.98 upright. Rosemaris officinalis versus the one that I have which is rosemary Tuscan blue. So my rosemary Tuscan blue, I've been harvesting the branches and harvesting the, the leaves and drying them, washing them and drying them and preserving them for culinary uses so the plant can keep growing. It's huge. I bought it like three years ago or two years ago, something like that. Stuck it in the ground. It got huge and I've been harvesting it. So this one I wanted a different variety. This is the rosemary officinalis same thing. I've got the um, Spanish lavender which is a big grown one and then I bought this new one because I think I was mistaken and my husband caught it that it's the same variety but this for sure is a different variety of lavender. And then I went to Ikea. Oh before I talk about that um, as I was checking out I saw that they had pots on the shelf and they said it's for free so I got them because I'm always starting plants um, and especially now I'm growing things from seeds. So I got two little orange pots, um, a medium pot and then a bigger outer pot all for free for four pots. And I'm always looking for them because why buy them when you can get it for free. So we went to Ikea and I spotted this cute Sansevieria. It looks really cute and it's got striations. I believe my other one does not have striations. I believe my other one is solid. I could be wrong. Um, so I just got myself one. I love these. They grow so well. They never die. And this one's called Fernwood. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And um, did it say the price? Oh shoot. 
I forgot to check the price. But they have decent prices at Ikea. Uh, 